top five <laughs> NFC quarterbacks, in your opinion? Because, um, you know, I heard on ESPN a little segment, and both the people that I heard doing it, and I was some, like, D crew over the weekend or something, but neither of them had Justin Fields on the top five. And I think a lot of people actually agree with that. And I, I know I disagree. I, I believe you disagree. So I wanted to go over your top five NFC quarterbacks. So starting with number one, who would be your number one? Until he's not a Packer, Aaron Rodgers. Okay, I was gonna say we we're, we should do this with the idea of him being a Jet, but mm-hmm. um, until he's a Jet, he's not a Jet, and it's Aaron Rodgers. So I could see him retiring. I could see him being a Jet. I could see him playing ten more years. I, I have no idea. I could see him just showing up to Green Bay <laughs> just to mess with him. <laughs> just is not even going at it. So you know you're right. Most of the players in the league, I think you trust. Yeah. Um, but him, it, you're right. It's kind of just like until it's done, it's it's not I done, right? It, yeah. So it would have to be Aaron Rodgers, number one. Number two. Jalen Hurts probably is yeah. an easy consensus. I would think so. Just made it to the Super Bowl. Just got a contract extension. Um, yeah. And then um, Dak Prescott's my number two, I would say. Over Jalen Hurts? No, 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 no. My number two. My number, my actual number two. Well, so, I mean, it goes Aaron Rodgers. So, Taylor, three, so, number so three. So, my three right, would so probably be three. Dak Prescott. Yeah. The three would be Dak Prescott. Okay. <clears throat> um, I mean, that's hard to argue with. Solid. It's been in the he league. can throw. I mean, every year he throws 20-plus touchdowns. <laughs> right. Uh, so, like, throws okay. some picks, but he so plays well. definitely have Dak Prescott over Kirk Cousins. Right? Like, I have a lot more faith in anything that Dak Prescott can do rather than what Kirk Cousins can do. The, our, it, NFC by, our NFC North bias is showing, being scared of Aaron Rodgers and not fearing Kirk Cousins at yeah, all. right. But, yeah, I don't fear Kirk Cousins even a little bit, and now he's 33 or 34. He's a year older and a year slower and a year weaker, and I do not. I don't see the Vikings doing anything. I mean, Justin and, Jefferson's a beast. He really is. Kirk Cousins is having a career high year, or had a career high year last year because Justin Jefferson. I mean, listen, our entire Bears wide receiver core got the same amount of yardage as Justin Jefferson did, 1,800 yards, right? So the, the guy's a beast. He's the one I'm afraid of, though. That's what I mean. I'm not afraid of Kirk Cousins, because when it comes to playoff time and it's 4th and 8, he's going to throw you a 3-yard pass, right? So I just, he's never ever proved it in his career, and I don't think he's going to. Now, Jared Goff, um, the Lions are a better team. They're an improved team, but same thing with Jared Goff. I just, he's been putting it together as he's getting older and whatever, but, um, I just haven't seen that greatness from him yet. I, th- I think he's a good average. Listen, I think what you have with Justin Fields is kind of like the situation they had in San Francisco where they had Alex Smith in San Francisco, and he you know, he wasn't a bad player. He wasn't a bad quarterback, but he was nothing special, very mediocre. In my opinion, very Kirk Cousins or Jared Goff-like even. Yep. And they went out and they got Colin Kaepernick and went with him because lightning in a bottle. He had that extra edge in his running game that some of the teams, you know, it's a nightmare to deal with. And if you could put the passing game together and have that, you know, that threat, it's it's a pretty scary combo. And that's why I think, like, it's that's kind of what we have here with Justin Fields. So when we're looking at all NFC quarterbacks, like I said, so we got Aaron Rodgers, Jalen Hurts, you know, Dak Prescott, I would, you know, let's say he's number three. Number four, I mean, I'm not putting Kirk Cousins there. I'm not putting Jared Goff there. I'm not putting Kyler Murray there. I'm not putting Kyler Murray there. I mean, Matthew Stafford? No. Yeah, maybe two years ago. Yeah. Right? So, okay. Um, Brock Purdy, I don't think, has proven enough over the course of the season. No, I to think... To be honest the, with you, listen, he had great stats. I saw him throw a couple receivers dead, though. Mm-hmm. And, like, you do that for the entire year. I mean, I think, <laughs> at the end of, I think anytime you describe top quarterbacks, you just... It's, would a team prefer to have this guy over this guy? I think... Right, it, so who's number four? I don't, I don't like the discussion Daniel of Jones. who... My point with any top list is never who is the guy who is the best. Who Because you could argue that it's, oh, well, this guy's young, so he'll be good for the next five years. This guy's old, but he's better. This guy has more potential. For me, any top list or a top five list, especially with NFC, is would you rather have this guy over this guy? Right. So No one would rather have trade. anybody over Aaron Rodgers, then Jalen Hurts, then Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott. Guy. Maybe four, to me, would be... Derek Carr, if you're getting, if you're talking about who would you rather have your, 
have be and the quarterback of your team good, for that one year. That's a good point. He has very experience in the league. I Derek guess, Carr. I, guess I could see that. Yeah, I could see definitely going with Derek Carr at four. And then five is where everyone's going to start freaking out. And that's where I, I think don't Justin want, Fields lands. I would rather have Justin Fields over Kyler Murray, Geno Smith, De- Desmond Ritter, any potential. Uh, Baker Mayfield? Baker Mayfield for sure. Um, Daniel yeah. Jones, even the Giants. I think if you ask the Giants honestly, would you rather have Justin Fields or Daniel Jones? They would obviously pick Justin Fields. Yeah, so, I don't think that's yeah, I think that's a no brainer. That, right. So that's I don't think any team. You could argue the first three guys. I would rather have Aaron Rodgers, Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields over on Justin San Fields. Francisco would be a nightmare. If you if you had Justin Fields on San Francisco over Brock Purdy, one hundred percent, right? If okay, so then like you said, Kyler Murray, Geno Smith, and and who's the fourth in that division? It's Matt Stafford Matt and Stafford. Uh, right. Okay. Yep. So and then NFC North, we went through you know Goff Cousins. I mean, let's say Jordan Love. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll take Fields over all three yep. of them. Okay. The the East, East, I'd rather have okay. Jalen Hurts. I'd rather have Jalen right. Hurts. Other than that, I. Rather have Justin Fields over Daniel Jones, my opinion, Dak Prescott, but there's plenty of teams who would say Dak Prescott. And I don't want um, whoever Washington is. Sam Howell or (laughs) Malik Hooker. Is that where it is? Probably. Okay, and then you're going to the South. So would you rather have Justin Fields versus the number one overall pick? Obviously, because... Yeah, if you didn't, you would have kept the number one overall pick. And so, uh, so him over C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young is yep. what well, we've already me. chosen. And I think also if Justin Fields is in this draft, he'd probably be one over both of them. Yeah, I so, think so too. That and then, like, Baker Mayfield, Derek Carr, Desmond, Desmond Ritter. Be there. Okay, right. And that's Derek it. Carr. And that's it. So that's what, that's what I'm saying. I think Justin Fields fits in there at number five. Dude, I did a video earlier in the season about quarterback dropbacks versus yeah. quarterback attempts. And it was kind of with the idea to get, like, what is the percentage of times when a, a pass attempt is called and it doesn't go that way? You don't even throw the ball. Because, like, Brady was the most efficient quarterback in this. And, yeah, when the left tackle messes up, Brady just chucks it at the ground. I mean, he would literally just take a, you know, incompletion instead of a sack and move forward. But it still counts as a pass attempt. Right? Uh, Justin Fields had the worst percentage. It was like 33%. That means one out of every three pass plays called. He's out there running around or doing something he he shouldn't have been doing. You know what I mean? And so that comes down to lack of protection. That comes down to uh, lack of confidence in your receivers, lack of chemistry with the receivers, lack of talent in the receivers. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think if I was to divide those stats up first half and second half, I think you would see a difference. But still, I think... If that's an area that uh, you're able to drastically improve in because you're so bad, right? So I think if they move forward in any way in that area where this actually starts becoming kind of a flow, and like I said, those those crazy moments when your pressure becomes fewer and further between and you actually have some kind of game plan that's going along, and then it breaks down and you can still dart off for 60 yep. yards... That's when uh, NFL coaches are going to start scratching their heads a little bit, going, yeah. holy crap. You can because pass if he doesn't pass, he'll run. Kids, 6'3", six, six, 220, yeah. running at you faster than anybody else, being able to cut like, yeah. like a madman. So I think his potential is way above any of those quarterbacks yeah. we talked about.